Welcome to Neo Royal, House of Pricey Cardboard. On today's episode of Commander Gameplay, I'm joined by Chain and Liz from the Chain of Commander YouTube channel, as well as Frank from the Command Command channel. Both links will be in the description, make sure to check them out for some guides, sketches and gameplay videos. Before we get to the gameplay, let me shout out our three new Patreons of the channel, Samuel, Create Commander, and Mr. Fitz. Thank you so much for supporting this project of mine, and this brings us even closer to a bonus video each month. All we need is to reach 20 Patreons. If you want to support the channel in a free way, make sure to subscribe so we can reach 1000 sub. We are getting very close and I plan on giving away some pricey cardboard when we do. Chain will be playing a CDC Brood of Rat deck. This deck is packed with 23 rat colony ready to take on the board with a swarm of these creatures. The deck is running a couple of unconventional cards for EDH as this is usually a singleton format. CDC still works great for zombies as long as you have a high enough creature count. Liz will be playing the partner pair of Arden Intrepid Archaeologist and Rograt Son of Roga. This deck is extremely straightforward with 38 artifacts in the list. The goal is to equip Rograk with a bunch of equipments and get people out of the game with commander damage. Frank will be playing Tuvasa the Sunlit with Keruga the Macro Sage as her companion. This deck is part Enchantress and part Voltron, looking to get all the better constellation synergies while maintaining a minimum CMC of 3 for each spell. For myself, I will be playing Zerda the Down Waker. My Zerda list is a token strategy looking to use Zerda's reduction to activate token generators many, many times, ramp, draw with artifacts, and close the game through burn or combat damage. It's a really fun deck and I encourage you to check out the list if you have the time. Chain's opening hand contains a Rat Colony, Nyx Weaver, Nature's Claim, Cyclonic Rift, Nurturing Peatland, Herbor Tomb of Yogma, and a basic Forest. Liz's opening hand contains Brass Squire, Blood Forge Battleaxe, Black Blade Reforge, Divine Reckoning, Talisman of Conviction, Needle Verge Pathway, and a basic Mountain. My opening hand contains Talia Eretic Qatar, Martial Coup, Sword of the Animus, Command Tower, two basic Mountains, and a basic Plains. Chain gets to start this off. And land drops Nurturing Peat Land. Liz land drops the other side of the Needle Verge, Pillar Verge Pathway and cast our first commander, Rograk, son of Roga. I'm gonna talk about that, good, I'm gonna talk about that, good, I'm gonna talk about that, good, ah! I land drop a plains and cast Gerard's Battle Cry. Frank's land drops an island and end turn one. Chain land drops Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, and cast the first rat colony of the game. Liz land drops a mountain and cast Talisman of Conviction. Followed by Blood Forge Battle Axe. Alan drops a mountain and casts Sword of the Animist. Franklin drops a forest and pass. Chainland drops a forest. He goes to combat, sending the rat to Frank. In second main, he casts Nyx Weaver. Liz land drops Opal Palace and casts Marble Diamond. She then equips the axe on Rograk. And for her combat, sends the goblin to me. I untap and land drop a command tower. I then cast Talia, Heretic Qatar. Frank land drops a forest, and finally on 3 mana, he casts Wood Elves. Entering the battlefield, he searches his library for a basic forest. At Shane's upkeep, the Weaver mills Murderous Cut and commit to memory. He land drops a swamp, and casts 2 more Rat Colonies. Heading into combat, the first Rat attack Liz. Liz land drops a mountain, and equips the Axe token on her commander. She goes to combat, attacking Cheng with Rograk. Liz creates two more axes on damage. In second main, Liz casts Divine Reckoning. We all pick a creature and destroy the rest. On my turn, I land drop a Thespian stage and equip the sword on Talia. Going to combat, I send Talia to Liz and get a planes on attack. Frank land drops a planes and casts his commander to Vasa the Sunlit. My people have always been here, and here we shall remain. At Chain's upkeep, he mills Farseek and Drowned Catacombs. He activates the Nyx Weaver, exiling it and returning the Catacombs to hand. He then plays it as his land for turn. I love Nyx Weaver, that's such a good card. Yeah. I remember when I first started playing Magic, I'm like, this card is bad, why would you want to mill yourself? And I'm like, this card is great, I can mill myself. <laughs> Liz land drops Buried Ruins and casts Black Blade Reforged. 
and follow it up with our second commander, Arden, intrepid archaeologist. <sighs> Is he singing again? At the beginning of combat, Arden triggers and equips all the axes and the new sword on the son of Roga. Uh, so we're gonna throw... <laughs> everything on this boy. I wonder who attacked me last turn for that jet damage. Rograk attacks me for 13 points of commander damage. And Liz creates 4 new axes. On my turn, I'll end up Arch of Araska and cast my own commander, Zerda the Dawn Waker. I head into combat, sending Talia to Frank to get a planes on attack. On his turn, Frank casts Karametra, God of Arvis. He draws for Tuvasa and pass. Chain Lindrop's Field of the Dead. He then casts his commander, CDC Brood Tyrant. So we have a word for enemies to mutilate it for military services. No, no, no. Furnitures. Entering the battlefield, he mills Fitzid Pool, Treasure Cruise and Azusa Lost But Seeking, creating a zombie. But here's Frank Zamba. He's back. From the dead! Woo! Well, Bill, I heard you were trying to mount some defenses against me. That is not what I was trying to do. Ah. I was trying to mount some offensive against Neo. <laughs> How? Made of Why? <laughs> you invited me here? <laughs> um. On her turn, Liz casts Mirage Mirror. She transforms it into Sword of the Animist. Going to combat, Arden triggers and once more equip way too many weapons on the little goblin that could. Liz rolls a die, and it seems that my time in this match has been long enough. I react to the 23 commander damage coming my way with generous gift, destroying Rograk. In second main, Liz recasts Rograk and pass. I'll end up Exotic Orchard, and go straight to combat sending Zerda and Talia to Liz. In second main, I cast Martial Coup where X equals 6, destroying all creatures and creating 6 soldier tokens. I then pass. Frank casts Cold Eye Silky. Karametra triggers for a forest and he passes while shuffling. Chain casts Oracle of Muldaya. He does not reveal a land on top and pass. Liz land drops a mountain and recasts Arden. She transforms the Mirage Mirror into a Cold Eye Silky. At the beginning of combat, Arden triggers and the Silky gets equipped with all the weapons. Wait, you are islands too, don't you, Bill? No, you don't. What he does? You can you can She sends the Silky to Frank because of Island Walk. The Merfolk triggers on damage and draws 24 cards. In second main, Liz Lynch drops a command tower. And then I'm gonna get rid of the Mirage Mirror and fling it at Neo. 24 <laughs> just chuck My it. God. With the Fury. This is great. She cast Kazul's Fury, flinging the Silky in my face for 24 damage. On my turn, I'll end up a mountain. Okay, guys, I, I can I can take out Liz, but I need to not die this turn. <laughs> I'm at you. I, 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 will not, I will not be eliminated by me on my turn. Why do you want to stop the fun? <laughs> Because if, if I don't stop the fun, the fun will stop me. <laughs> I activate Gerard's battle cry five times and send the six soldiers to Liz for 25 damage, taking her out of the game. Frank recasts to Vasa. He gets a planes with Karametra and pass. On his turn, Chain Snatchers claims my battle cry. And honestly, I'm not mad about gaining five life. He then sacrifices his peatland to draw a card. Finally revealing a land on top of his deck, he plays Yavimaya Coast, and then reveals Rejuvenating Springs, playing it as well. The second land triggers Field of the Dead for a zombie. Chain then casts a small Cyclonic Rift to return Zerda to my hand. Heading into combat, he sends the Oracle to me. At my upkeep, I cast Enlightened Tutor. Chain reacts with Negate. Switching plan, I cast Fell the Mighty, targeting one of my soldier. I then recast Zerda and equip the sword on the soldier. For my combat, I send the equipped soldier to Chain, getting a planes on attack. Frank casts Battle Mastery on the Merfolk. He goes to combat, attacking Chain with the Selkie. 
On damage, Frank draws two cards. In second main, Elaine drops Temple of Enlightenment, scrying one, and then casts Insight. He ships the turn to Chain. Chain casts a Rat Colony and then Maro Nower, passing. Seeing no solution to the fear in my hand, I activate the Arch of Araska to draw a card. I then cast Idyllic Tutor, searching my library for shared animosity. I then cast the Enchantment. Going to combat, six soldiers attack Chain. Shared animosity triggers for plus 5 plus 0. Chain blocks with both rats and takes 24 damage. I also get a planes on attack. In second main, I equip the sword on Zerda before passing. Frank casts Armadillo Cloak on the Selkie. He then casts Reclamation Sage, destroying the shared animosity on ETB. He head into combat, sending the Selkie to Chain. He gains 6 life and draws 6 cards. Chain untaps and cycles unearth. He then casts the Rat Colony and photo it up with Piper of the Swarm. On my turn, I cast Qatar's Crusade. I then cast Ugin the Ineffable. I minus 3 my Planeswalker to destroy the ever growing Selkie. On my combat step, I send Zerda to Frank and get a Planes on attack. On his turn, Frank casts Sigil of the Empty Throne. He then casts Teferi's Aegis Insight, creating a very dangerous flying token. Chain recasts CDC. On cast, as it is a green spell, Frank draws two cards. Entering the battlefield, Chain mills life from the loam, Rat Colony, and Woodland Cemetery, creating a zombie, and passing the turn after that. On my turn, I draw with the Arch of Araska. I plus one Ugin, making a spirit and triggering the Crusade. I then cast Skyclave Relic paying the kicker cost to get more mana rocks. I cast land tax, exposing my non-winning draws. I go to combat once more, sending Zerda to Frank. Frank untaps and casts Starfield of Nyx, animating all his enchantments. He also gets another angel on cast. He then casts Ancestral Mask, creating another angel and buffing the Reclamation Sage. Going for the Alpha Strikes, he sends the angel to me and the rest to Chain. Without interaction or flying blockers, we both die to the Karuga crew. Well played. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to check out today's guest, both channels have great magic content, even some food on chain sides and other games on command command side. Help us reach a thousand subs by subscribing, it would mean the world to me. Thank you my friend and we'll see you very soon.